Dear friends, now it is time to start our discussion. So we are in Dhammapada, stanza number 200. This stanza also very, given us a very similar idea, the stanzas that we discussed previously. Susukam vata jivama yesan no natti kinchanam. Piti bakka bhavisama deva abhasarayata. Brief meaning, indeed we live very happily without any impediment. Like the abhasara brahma, brahmas, we shall live on delightful satisfaction as our food. This conversation happened with the Buddha and the Mara. One day, the Buddha was uh, having his arms round in a particular village. The name of the village is Panchasala. But the purposely went to that village to help some princes who were having merits to even attain sainthood, first stage of sainthood, Sotapanna. Having loving friendliness thoughts toward them, the Buddha went to meet them. On the way, the, the time is ready for the arms. So Buddha decided to have arms round with the other monks. Mara knew this situation and then he wanted to disturb the Buddha. So the Mara was not allowed to the Buddha have to have him his arms at that moment. So the Buddha and the monks went few places. They did not get any food. Time has been passing, so they, the Buddha returned to his journey. On the way, the Mara was saying to the Buddha, did you get any food to eat? Then the Buddha said, I know when you are here, how I can get any food? Then, Buddha, uh, then Mara said to the Buddha again, oh, you might be hungry. Then the Buddha said, no. We are living happily without any impediments like the Abhasara Brahma, Brahmas. We shall live in delightful satisfaction as our food. When you are happy, these general thoughts, when you are happy, you are not paying attention to your food or any other uh, comforts because you are living full of happiness. When you are living full of happiness, you can forget about so many difficulties. Even though you face in some difficulties, you can forget, you can escape those negativities and difficulties. In this way, the Buddha is explaining about the nature of the happiness. When you live happily, as a result of that happiness, you can cut off, you can escape so many difficulties, including uh, hunger. In this particular stanza, there are few words that we should uh, pay full attention. Kinchanang natti. Kinchanang natti. If we did not, if we are not getting anything, if you are not getting anything, Kinchanang Natti, 
susukangwata jivama we are living we are we live happily even though we don't get anything as food but we live happily it's mean this is the nature of arahant beings and particularly of the buddha the buddha's happiness or arahant beings happiness not depending on external things because they have covered their mind they have protected their mind they have established their happiness why they have already eliminated all defilements from their mind dear friends as a nature as a result of this situation they don't have any fear any doubt any sorrow anything to be upset they don't have no one can make upset them there is no any situation to disappoint for them because all these negatives are arising in our mind with the help of defilements when you are living without defilements means you can maintain your happiness you can maintain your peaceful thoughts with you all our peaceful thoughts are disappearing our happiness disappear because of our defilements if we are living with defilements our happiness is not established when you able to eliminate all the defilements no one can bother so in here in this particular story giving us something to think ourselves the buddha himself living in this society even though who attain enlightenment himself he has to take care of this body we have worries troubles matters problems in our mind why because of our body because of our body just pay attention for your daily routines in the morning when you are wake up you have to think about your body to wash it to clean it you sleep to give a rest for your body and you have to prepare in the morning coffee tea a breakfast all these things for your body not the mind all these treatments for body and then put on your clothes and everything you have to get in ready to go to work why you want to work you want to work because you need some money for what to have a shelter to have a facilities to go here and there and to eat something and to associate uh, your family members friends relatives you need money for all these things so therefore you have to work you have to work to earn money money is the medium for all these uh, things so it is also depending on your body not the mind now you can see we are paying full attention to take care of this body because we know we our we are assuming ourselves this body is the most important thing for us and we have to satisfy this body we have that concept this kind of concept we have because we are living with ignorance we are living with ignorance the buddha went arms round as a obligation to give some food to his body not for the desire not not because of desire buddha went to arms round to find something to eat to help the body to make body comfortable that is the purpose but 
he did not get any food even though he ha- he 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 had some difficulties living without food but he did not have any kind of unhappy thoughts upset mind he was very happy and then he was able to skip that moment why he did not have defilement in his mind he is not living with desire hatred or ignorance all these defilements are eliminated by the buddha attain in enlightenment so he did not want to worry about his body he was trying to help the body but he did not get chance to help body given food making comfortable but he did not get upset he did not worry about because it is not a big deal for the buddha this is the nature when you establish your happiness when you eliminate your all defilements this is the nature equanimity is there that's why the buddha said directly to the mara priti bakka bavissami deva abhasara yata today we can live like a brahma world which we call abhasara abhasar brahmas like abhasar brahmas we can live today who are who are abra uh, abhasar brahmas dear friends who attain uh, jnanas they are the been who can go to that tabasar world to born there, to to get a birth there and who attain sotapan they are the people who can get their birth who attain sakadagami they are the beings that who can birth they are in abhasar world so in this manner you can see abhasar devas brahmas they don't want to have food for their body to take care to take care of their body they don't want to have food why they are li- they are living happily and peacefully they live happy and peaceful thoughts so they don't want to have food they are always full of stomach because of their wholesomeness because of their happy thoughts this is the nature of the abhasara brahma world brahma realm so in this manner the buddha also can enjoy that happiness like brahmas even though buddha living in human world how it's come because that is the nature of buddhahood that is the nature of enlightenment enlightened beings when they attain enlightenment they don't have any defilements in their mind so when they don't have defilements means they can they can live worryless life worryless life whether they gain something or lose something they don't have any worry about that whether they healthy or unhealthy in their body particularly they don't worry about that because they know they already established happiness and they know the reality they know reality so oh, so in this manner we can see what kind of lifestyle the brahmas in abhasara world can experience kinchanam natti even though you are not getting anything you don't need to worry about their worryless life is there then how we can get painful situation what is the reasons to be worry what is the reasons to be upset not something 
only thing is your defilements if you are living with lust if you are living with the anger if you are living with the desire hatred and ignorance yes definitely you have worry in your mind you are suffering a lot so all these uncomfortable situation create by unwholesome thoughts so it is clear unwholesome thoughts are the main reasons to have uncomfortable situation mentally and physically mentally and physically when you when you able to eliminate all defilements all unwholesome thoughts unwholesome roots from your mind then there is nothing to worry there is nothing to uh, be upset everything happening peacefully and happily because your mind is clear your mind is full of happy so we practice dhamma we apply this application to our day to day life for what to achieve these goals to establish our happiness and to reduce our uncomfortable situation ourselves this is the main reasons that why we are practicing dhamma so around the world people are practicing dhamma having this goal this is the goal of practicing dhamma so then susukang vata jivama you can live happily because delightful satisfaction already with you because you eliminated defilements your food is happiness piti bakka bhavishami your food is happiness you are not depending on rough food like the food that we consume each and every day as human being because you can stay with your happy thoughts you can use that happy thoughts as food for your life dear friends now you know in this world in this universe there are different kind of realms these realms living beings are different for each each and every one because even we are not able to think about how someone can live without food we don't have that idea that thoughts that experience even we can't think about that why because always we are living with food just think about yourself even one time can you escape your meal no it is not easy around the world we can see people are fighting sometimes human beings are killing human beings because of their food this is the nature so we are not able to even think about how we can live without food but in this universe there is a realm which we call abhasar brahma world they are the beings who can live without food their food is their happiness that much clear mind they have that much happiness they already establish their self they don't have any worries they don't have any trouble they don't uh, 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 cry lament it why they already eliminated all these defilements which cause for uncomfortable unhappy situation this is the nature of the universe but normally some of our people in this human world are not able to understand this nature 
we think as human being we are only the we are the only living being who can control this world that is the ment- that is the mentality that we have which is not to experience ourselves then we have we have thoughts not to believe it you don't have any experience about the world then you don't ready to believe it but dear friends we sh- supposed to open our mind because the universe is unlimited the universe is unlimited in this universe we don't know how many realms are there for living beings what kind of living beings are there we don't know recently i read something about ufo unaided uh, unidentified flying objects now some agencies already prove there are some unidentified flying objects in this world through special cameras they were able to catch those things to caught caught all these pictures of unidentified flying objects as buddhist follower there is no surprise for us because we know there are some other world which are powerful than human world there are some other realms which powerful than human realm they might have that technology we are trying to go to another realms but our technology is not enough grew yet might be in future sometimes you human beings might be able to go to celestial world but we don't know when how it happen but anyway other living beings who are in those realms they have that ability they they have the facilities but in particularly in this instance are is mentioning abhasara brahma world who are in abhasara brahma world they are living with their happiness their food is their happiness who can go there only the being who attain jhanas who attain sotapanna who attain sakadagami they are the people who can go there who can get birth there but abhasara world is also not eternal being who are there there should be two things one thing they should attain enlightenment when they while they are living there otherwise they should come back to human world and suffer again in this birth and death circle these two these, these two things would be there this is the reality in that world too because abhasar brahma loka world also under these three characteristic impermanent suffering and selfless so the buddha did not come to this world to introduce this path to go brahma world to go to heaven that is not buddha's duty that is not the teachings of the buddha then what buddha wanted to introduce us eternal happiness or nibbana enlightenment this is the reasons appearance of the buddha the buddha came to this world to teach us the path for our liberation for our enlightenment which we call eternal happiness so dear friends as followers of the buddha we don't want to make wishes to go to brahma world or celestial world we have to maintain wish to attain enlightenment even in this very life but when we having that goal when you are working for that if we are not able to attain that that's that you don't know to worry about yes as a result of your insight development 
you can go to those kind of uh, brahma world or other uh, realms there are 31 realms including human world according to the buddha's explanation so develop your energy develop your strength courage yourself to practice dhamma to gain liberation and to establish your happiness having that aspiration let us practice this dhamma i think that would be enough for today thank you very much for your participation let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration share merits with departed ones saying sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful all over the world who are suffering from their sicknesses and difficulties by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they be well happy and peaceful may all be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much see you in next week thank you thank you, thank you